Fire near Gravoy Park has neighbors fuming tonight. They say they kept reporting the building to the city and they feel this situation could have been avoided. Fox 2's Max Deatonight joins us live near Tennessee Avenue and Miami. And Max, this same building caught fire back in March. Yeah, Mandy, that's right. And take a look at the mess it left behind this time. You can see it's all boarded up in the front, but this fire knocked out all of the windows here. It also damaged the building right next to it. Neighbors say they really feel this could have been avoided. The fire started around 2 a.m. near the intersection of Tennessee Avenue and Miami Street here in the Gravoy Park neighborhood. Fire officials telling us it got out of control so fast they had to fight it completely from the outside as flames started shooting through the roof. It took as many as 30 firefighters a couple of hours to put out the hot spots. The fire, which started on the second floor, even damaged the home next to it. You can see it melted off the siding. A crew with Pride Restoration tells us the home has water damage on every floor and it will need all new floors, siding and drywall, making it unlivable. Fire officials say they don't know how this fire started. This is the same building that caught fire back in March. Neighbors call it a problem property. They say they wish the city would have knocked it down already. People do come and go out of there. The city has been alerted to it and um, it recently has managed to stay boarded up for the last couple weeks. Um, also, the uh, lights that had been shining on the building that had been put up have been knocked out this week. Other neighbors say this is the only abandoned home on the block, but add that this is a problem citywide. They wish the city would send crews in to knock these problem properties down. And I just hope that with this being gone, that that's the start of something reviving for the neighborhood. That's what I hope. Alderman Shane Cohn represents this part of St. Louis. He says he's happy to meet with the city's building commissioner and talk about this property, look at things they can do with it, including knocking it down if he finds that necessary. Reporting in South St. Louis tonight, Max Deke, Night Fox 2 News.